it up. Welcome to Madness Life. If you're new here, please subscribe. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> I'm bored. Who wants to hang out? Oh, not even a thumbs up. Three people staring at me. Why are you staring at me? Why am I on your speed dial? If you ain't gonna come in here and talk to me. Come on now. Look at this. I, listen, it's rough. It, it's been a rough day. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hello, Anna Gags and Hippista. What's going on, Susie Q? Catherine, tell you. Sage, thank you. Stormy, hi guys. I look rough. <laughs> Even worse. It is what it is, okay? I'm old, I look old, such is life. Oh, you were watching my last live, good Lord. I had to, listen, I finally, Willy Billy, you know who you are, front and center. Oh, that's right, you're blocked. I finally had to block you. You're just annoying, you're, you're a miser miserable human being. The, like fourth, Fourth time, fourth strike, you're out. You got your planner. Yay, Spirit Wolf. Tucking money away, people. Plus, I'm still saving my change. I'm telling you, when that blue jug, that big blue water jug is full, I can't wait to order a coin sorter. And uh, I have to order a good one. You know, with the the things in it to fill each slot. Um, I can't wait to see how much. That's gonna be one hell of a vacation. The blue jug's my vacation. So depending on how much is in there, when I fill it, then I'll book a vacation. Don't even know where. Fiji, glass bottom tiki hut. Why have you lost it? Hippista, what do you mean you think you've lost it? Lost what? Oh, no. Oh, I've cleaned the house, fixed lunch for mother, laundry, making bread now. Okay, yeah, I hear you. Hi, Periwinkle, Tammy. Look at all my members. I love y'all. Thank you for sticking around. You've had a, a day too, Christy? Oh yeah, it's Chihuahua time. The Chihuahuas just wear me out, right? I did, I read it, hippiesta. We got little Jaxi poops. First we got Mr. Tiggs over there. Hello, poking his head like a hamster. Then this one's right here in my lap. He lives for me. He doesn't, he can't even exist unless he's sitting on me. Of course. Where'd you go, Jaxi poops? Annie, hello. So anyway, yeah, I had to block Willy Billy. They just, you know, they changed their name to my goat's names. So their channel must have had a different name, but they changed it to Willy Billy just because they can't stand me. But yet, <laughs> that shit makes me laugh. Cause I'm like, you're for real. Like you don't even know how to cook. You don't even know how to cook. Okay, don't watch. Then it's like, you're afraid of Yaba and Sam. I'm more afraid of Freddy Krueger being real than I am strangers on the internet. Like, I don't even know what we're dealing with here. <laughs> but... <laughs> you got a little pooty, poodle Yorkie rescue. Oh! <gasps> Aren't they called Yorkie Poos? I think they're called Yorkie Poos, right? Am I right? Well, you know what I love about those? They don't shed because they have like human hair, real hair. Yeah, can't stand you, but I can't stay away. Yeah, I'm like, you know, you really, uh, we, yeah, you gotta go. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can sit and tell me about myself all day long, but on a Sunday, on a Sunday, that's where I draw the line. If you are that unhappy and that miserable and that hateful on a Sunday, you got to go. 
Yeah, send a pic. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, Catherine. Please do. Yorkie Poos. You have three Yorkie Poos. Look at you two having shit in common. <laughs> oh, Tara. God bless. I have a little poodle mix with Chihuahua. That's interesting. What, what did they get the poodle hair? Or did they get the shedding curly hair? I, I don't even know how that works. You just Googled, you, yeah, Yorkie Poos are adorbs. Adorbs. Mm-hmm. Jaxie, are you gonna come up here with me? <whistles> Jaxie Poops. Come on, did the baby. Too quiet there. Yeah, I know. I can imagine. I can imagine. When you get so used to somebody taking up all your time and cuddling. Oh, no poodle hair. Okay. Do you need your jammies on? <laughs> he hates clothes. I go near him with clothes. He hides. He's too masculine for that. Don't you emasculate me, woman. But you look so cute in clothes, Jaxie. Yeah, you do, honey. You gonna hug me? No? Fine. Your oldest is 14. Hi, Leon. Yeah. She has the poodle hair, but sort of a Yorkie hair on the face. Oh my God, you gotta send a picture of that. That is adorable. Of course, I can only pull it off my phone, sorry. Thank you guys that ordered um, shirts in the Etsy store. The Say Less. I love those. I'm so excited for mine to come. Mine's shipping out in three days. So it should be here. It'll be here next week. I have a German Shepherd and oh my gosh, the hair. I know. German Shepherds, yes. I always wanted a black German Shepherd. I don't know why I am just ah oh, enamored by them. Anyway... Yeah, the shedding, I, I couldn't do it. Mr. Tiggs sheds a lot. And um, I'm constantly with the Ferminator brush. And um, like I even cleaned all my furniture too yesterday. Yep. So there's no dog hair on my couches. Hi, Karen. Mr. Willy Billy told me that I need better content. I'm just me, bro. I'm not a vaude, what is it called? Vaudeville show? <laughs> it's bedtime for you. Sorry, air fryer recipes. It is um, only 9.30 here, and I may or may not took a nap today on the couch for two hours, like this. I woke up and I had a kink. The neighbors are out partying, so St. Patty's Day shit, right? Ow! It's a beagle. Yeah, I did. I took a nap. Mr. No Madness went to bed, though. He was watching something so boring. I just like, you know, let me, let me just get, you know, comfortable while I watch it. Next thing you know, <laughs> right? That was me. And then I don't know what woke me up. And then he goes, you were sleeping. I go, you think? It's been two hours. Two hours. Son of a gun. They both have their own blankies, see? That's his. That's his. He's got his baby. He's cleaning his baby. His hedgehog. Hi, Sammy. How are you, sweetheart? Did you see the new shirts in the Etsy store? Oh my God, they're so adorable. I would show it to you, but then I'd have to go over to the iMac and do all that. Anyway, I get excited when I launch a new shirt and spring and summer's coming. But if you want it in a sweatshirt, let me know. They are, they're my babies. So anyway, what did you end up eating? A salad? No, hubby and I went out and had uh, little uh, miniature pizzas. 
there's a place that makes the most amazing personal pizzas. And they give you six little tiny slices, and I had three. I had three, but they were it was so freaking good. And it's been a while. So he was craving it. I said, fine. Then it starts snowing, 30 degrees. I'm in a sweatshirt, and it was just like, whoosh. I go, ah. I go, who cares? Who cares? What do we got here? Two more days, and it's the first day of spring. I'm fine with that. I actually enjoyed it because we didn't even have a winter. So it was kind of cool to be out there in the blowing snow. It really was. It didn't stick, though. It's just put on a show. It was just a show of snow. But I didn't wear a coat, so it was cold. So what else? You roasted broccoli and cauliflower. Yeah, it's one of my favorites. I just did that the other day with chicken breasts. I got to make a video with the air fryer chicken breast because somebody asked me to. And I know I did a video on it. Remember when I was eating the salad and you guys are like, oh my God, what kind of dressing is that? And I said, Brianna's raspberry poppy seed. And then people are like, I did the video. I just don't know where it's at. So I got to do a separate one of just that salad with the air fryer chicken breast. Somebody want me to make them? I will. I'll make it this week. I used to love pierogies. I'll make a video. And you remember, Jamie, right? We were talking about all kinds of shit that day. I'll make it again. Spinach leaves, cashews, mandarin oranges. You can do strawberries, too, if you want. When they're in season, I love to put strawberries in it, too, but... <coughs> I don't know. They're not really in season. Air fryer chicken breasts are so good. You've been on. The, I try to do some night live streams so we can hang out. Um, for the night crew people that you know don't get to hang out. I do, I like to hang out with everyone. The morning people, the night people. You know what I'm saying. Your wish is my command. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, remember I told you about that father and daughter? Remember the father kicked the daughter on a live stream? Well, he's out of jail. And they've put in place, and she's 21, okay? And they live together, and the whole thing is just weird. Well, Keemstar covered it, and Keemstar's like, what the fuck? Like, what is wrong with these people? Yeah, I don't like side load washing machines. Now, you can get an energy efficient top load, and it does the minimal water. It's a strange way it does it, but, like, the sucky part about the front load is, like, what if you forget a sock? Good luck to you. Cause the thing's full of water, so no, I don't, I don't like those. You know, that was kind of like a, everybody's got to get one thing. I'm not one of them people. I have to look at, I criticize it, right? Like I'm looking at it going, what could go wrong here, right? Get a leak, it's coming out, the seal breaks. No, thank you. I'm always doing that. Is the dad out of jail? Yes. So he's out of jail. And like four days ago, he did a live stream. It was like four hours. I have never heard so much word salad in my life. He's just as bad as her. She goes live in her little short. She's just trying to get the men. You know, she talks to them like this, right? That kind of shit. And then him, like, okay, Keemstar, he's reacting to Keemstar playing a video of him kicking his daughter. Well, nowhere in there did I really see you know, contact. So you could argue that, that there really wasn't any contact when I could. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I don't like this dude. Um, he is just, 
He tries to be charismatic, almost in a condescending, I even hate to say sociopathic way. You know what I'm saying? You almost got robbed at work today. My gosh. Yeah. You got anything on you for self-defense? You live in a state where you can, like, you know, bear spray something? Seriously. You live in the city, don't you? Don't do it. It's time to find a small town. I had a guy walk behind me when I was facing the till. It was nuts. And times are getting nuts. You get that, right? There's no way. Oh, you don't live in the city. Huh? Did that happen in a town? Dear God, mothball. Oh my God. Can't keep anything down. Okay, I got a question for you. Is this just something that came out of the blue, which could be some type of a bacteria in your gut? Like, for real, did you get, like, like what happened to me with the McDonald's cheeseburger? And it was four, four or five days? Yep, out of the blue. Okay. Do you have, like, azithromycin around your home? Because I'm going to tell you right now, which is a Z-Pack. Do you keep that in your... Medicinal supply? Because I do. Uh, wipe it right out. Right out. Because um, sometimes food can have a bacteria, and then the bacteria gets in your gut and your intestines, and you can't even eat without 10, not even 10 minutes later. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, look that stuff up. I'm just saying. Mine stopped immediately. After I did so much WebMD stuff, I was like, get this thing out of me before I end up sick. There you go. Long dreads is telling you. Active cho chalk. I don't even know. You have to go find that. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it can last up to seven days. <laughs> Until your body, like, rids itself. Like, you don't even play. Like, I don't even play with burgers or drive throughs anymore. That I'm a one and done. You just show me once. And this is over. I haven't ate raw pepperoni either. I used to love raw pepperoni. I'd wrap, I'd wrap it around a, um, a, one of them uh, cheese things. There you go, Leung knows too. I never eat out. Did what did you buy some? Did you undercook something? Yeah, I think you mean active. Yogurt? Alright. There are people are trying to help you here. I'm telling you, man, that was the worst experience of my life. Oh, never happened to me in my entire life till that day. And then I Googled the shit out of that with the WebMDs. And it was like uh, the Golden Arches. Let's just say that. I'll never eat there again. Oh, my God. That's some scary stuff, too. Um, anyway, so the dad... Um, Yeah, you don't want to dehydrate either. You got to keep that, you know, pedi Pedialyte. Oh, my God. I can't even tell you. And then stuff that can, you know, kind of bind you up a little bit. You, you got to read it all. <laughs> but then what saved me was when I finally said, <laughs> what antibiotic <laughs> would stop my hell? 
I was like, well, there it is. I have that. So I was like, and I'm telling you, man, it was over with. Never came back. That was, I'm telling you, it was over with. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, so anyway, Ben, her dad is back. Four hours. And you know what he was doing? He was manipulating and gaslighting uh, his subscribers because they were in there live chatting just, I can't believe you kicked your daughter and this. And then he's trying to like, he's trying to like, um, he was trying to use the Bible, you name it. He was using every rabbit in the hat to not admit what a piece of shit dad would do that. Kick their daughter. And I was just so... I mean, like, it was just such nonsense to listen to him. And then he's like, and I can't believe there's a restraining order. Um, or, like, they have to stay away from each other. And he goes, this is not good for Grace. I'm like, she's 21. She seems to be holding fine with all the men in her six-hour live chats. They're both too much. He did not use spare the rod, spoil the child, but I'm getting he did. They have a strange relationship. Very strange. And he's always, they're, they're honestly, I, there's not a lot of people I watch that I'm just like, this just feels very weird. There's a few, but th this, and I don't know if they're doing it on purpose because they want to be famous. Yeah, thank you, Talia. That's what he implies, and so does she. Yeah. Very creepy. It, he spoke for four hours, and it's word salad, all of it. He's, he tries to act like he's just this PhD intellect. He's so above like a normal conversation. Everything's through like synonyms and euphemisms and I can't stand it. I can't stand it. It's word salad. It's absolute BS. Something is so off. You are right. Perry Winkle's so off. Yeah, he does that and it's, it is just so condescending. That's what it is. You know, he's basically trying to like manipulate the chat into thinking like he can use vi uh, Bible verses and he can use religion. And then he talks about SEX and then he talks about like, you know what I mean? Like he is all over the place. Oh my God, I hate when people do that so much. Shani and Rev do that. And it's, they do everything. They do politics. They weaponize everything. Shani and Rev weaponize politics, religion, um, you know, because they're going to tell you about yourself with their religion. And you're like, that's not how it works. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's um, Thorpe TV. Yeah. And four days ago, he did a four-hour live. And I said, is he ever going to get to the story of why he kicked his daughter? I don't want to hear your scripture. I don't want to hear your scripture while you're gaslighting everybody. Like, you didn't see me kick her. Did you see an impact? Okay, so one time I might have, like, my hand hit her, uh, flicked her face or something. Don't. Don't do that. You're a shit dad. The end. That was easy. That was easy. Yeah, Leong, y'all have a heyday over there. Even Keemstar was like, 
What in the hell? So he's trying to call Keemstar feminine. You know, I don't understand men that get into women's gossip. Only, only feminine men do that. That's what he was saying about Keemstar. Because he didn't like that Ke Keemstar was like, what the hell? You know what I mean? Oh, God. It was a whole thing. I was like, I can't believe I'm listening to this. I must really be bored. I lasted half hour tops before I said four hours of this. He never gets to the point. He never apologizes, explains in detail. He just circles the drain. I can't do it. Hi, hippista. What a dork is right. He and chewing his gum. I was doing this at the computer. Spit your gum out. Spit it out. You know, the people that roll it around and make all the sounds. That's one of my, don't do it. No, they have, there's a court order. They have to stay apart. She did one, I miss my daddy. I'm like, I'm done. I can't do this. I mean, if you guys are trying to like pull all the, just all the things so everybody will talk about you, yay. But the internet's forever. So go in, be your authentic self, and you either grow or you don't. But to imply or insinuate or hint to I-N-C-E, ST, that's creepy shit. That's your daughter, dude. You're a weirdo. There, I'm trying to think there's, he reminds me of somebody, but I can't pinpoint it. I just can't pinpoint it. Somebody else that gave me the creeps. I can't pinpoint it. You might be able to for me. They, they only um, hint to it, Susie Q. They only hint to it. That is disgusting. Yeah, Chrissy, I'm the same way. Like, it depends on how you chew your gum, but still, just gum is never pretty. Um, I'll get bubble gum and blow bubbles and just like have a heyday at home. But if I get out in public, no. You're not late, Angel of Glass. Glad you're here. I've never seen them, so I don't know. But I bet I will after I watch them. Yeah, give me your opinion. It's like I'm a 44-year-old man, like, trying to be cool or trying to relive some sort of, I don't even know. Hello, Angela. I used to love chewing gum, but store-bought teeth won't allow gum chewing. <laughs> store-bought teeth. You got the click-ins. Or do you, you know, do you got the, the dentures? Not the click-ins? Honestly, people. <laughs> oh my God. The internet is a playground of all things. It's insane. Anyway, but I was watching how to build a bed lift um, before I went live because we've been gone. It, there's a lot of freaks. Like Sebastian Maniscalco said it the best. The worst thing about social media is it brought the people out of the basement that needed to stay in the basement. It gave them a world. <laughs> it was some funny shit. Oh no, your basement of phobia. Store bought teeth. 100%. That gave them a world. Mm hmm probably and the strength to go out into the world. 
I don't know. I've seen a few out there where you're like, huh, all right. No, we're going to buy a brand new one, Hippista. We're going to go. My husband was on call all weekend, so we couldn't go anywhere. And the nearest one is 45 minutes away. And then the other one is an hour and a half away where they have cargo trailers. So we're going to wait till next weekend when he's off. And we're going to take a drive and I'm going to film it and put it on the Nomadness Adventure channel when we go look at him. Yes, the word community has taken on a whole new meaning. I know. And it was a bummer, but, you know, we're so used to it. We have to plan things around, you know, his call schedule, and it's fine. We want to go see which one we want and just have some fun looking at them. But I'll film it for the other channel. I'm going to add it on to the videos I have from when we went and looked at the one that only had the six-foot-tall ceiling. And then another guy offered to sell us one really cheap. But that one was nine years old, too. And only six feet tall on the, you know, on the roof. I said to my husband, you can't just duck down a little. He said, no. I am going to stand. I don't care if he sold it to me a buck. I'm not buying it. I'm going to stand. <laughs> I said, all right, I was just checking. See if you're willing to duck a little. God bless you, Googs. Love you. Get a little sneeze. God bless you. Boop, boop, boop. Love you. Yeah, can't you crawl on your knees? Gosh, you're so typical. He goes, why do I have to be so tall? <laughs> you love going to the RV shows? Yeah, I want something unique for sure. I do. And I love the fact that the roof will never have to, I don't have to do maintenance on the roof. None of that shit anymore. Do you know how many times we had to seal? We had to like chisel off all the old seal, then do recoat the roof with roof, rubber roof coating. Then we had to reseal it. it it's a pain. I don't want to deal with that shit ever again. Remember the tiny house trend? That's that's what's still going on. People that can live in 300 square feet. It is doable. Think about it. How much space am I taking up right now? I have all this shit in the house. Two stories. Three, actually, but of stuff. And I, I'm in one space. See, I'd rather be outside. Only outdoor people can live in 300 square feet. Like I said, man, I want I want a homestead. You have a one story, yeah, I wish. <laughs> I do. But when we build on our property that we're gonna buy, I'm gonna have it's gonna be adorbs. Let's just be honest. It's gonna be adorbs. But at least we can stay in the cargo cabin, the cargo trailer cabin, until we build. You have to be pretty disciplined or it turns to chaos. Well, yeah, I mean, but a house this size with all the, the molding where you have to keep that wiped down. You got doors, you got floors, you got walls, you got windows. It's too much. I don't even want to be in the house like that. You have to love who you're with. Yeah. Yeah, actually, you do. It, it makes it fun. We've had so much fun traveling together. I told my husband, I go, you know what? Because our anniversary is the 31st of this month, right? What's that? Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, it's on a Sunday, right? Yeah. And I was like, can you believe it? We've been together 20 years. Ha! Huh. He goes, really? I go, yeah. He goes, wow. When you're having fun, you just... Time goes by, doesn't it? 
I would love to have a tiny house with another storage for my yarn stash. There you go. A she shed. A craft she shed. You go out there, you make it your own space to do crafts. You got the proper tables, the proper shelving, the lights. You go out there, everybody leaves you alone. Right? I like little outbuildings. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to be in my she shed. You go in your pole barn, I'll be in the she shed. I'll be out there diamond painting, vlogging. I like that stuff. I like miniature stuff. I told you that. You'll be married 34 years next week. Wow, congratulations. 36 for Anna. Tiny houses in the middle of nowhere near a river. Amen. I'm going to have a she shed. We've already talked about it. I'm going to have one of them little cute ones too. You know the ones? It kind of looks like a little miniature barn. That's what's going to be. I have lots of dreams. Thank God my husband entertains my dreams because I entertain his. You have two rooms and a bathroom, a tiny apartment. Awesome. You've been married 37 years. 31 for you. Your hubby is always in the garage, right? You have a she shed. Awesome. Ouch. I have a sliver. God only knows why. I am. I like to decorate small spaces. They're so cozy and they have so much ambiance. You got to get into watching people that up and sold everything. Oh, yeah. I moved to Alaska. Yeah. Exactly, Susie Q. You just did a craft room makeover? How great. You know, I should do that with the green room up there. I call it my store. Uh, no dogs ever allowed in there. That's where the dress from the wedding is. Beautiful shoes, my luggage. Um, and then the other side of the room is my shipping area, my packaging, shrink wrapping. I have a desk. I have shelves. You ain't starting that. Uh-uh, boy. We didn't go to the grocery store. Oh, God. I see you. Why you got to make sounds like that? How dare you? Now that was full on sass. You can't, you can't sass me like that. Tigs. I know. I still have turkey, though. You hear that shit? You can't just get louder. People are sleeping, Pop-Pop says. You love my diva room. Thank you. <coughs> you hear that? I told you not to forget the carrots. I, I didn't go to the grocery store. It was a blizzard. Well, he was over there minding his business. He goes, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This bitch is live. Come on, up here. Let's have a conversation with the people. Don't you run to the kitchen. Come here, come on. Come here. Oh my God, you're so big. Tell the people what a pain you are. <laughs> I'm allergic to him, but I kiss him. I don't care. It's my baby. And he goes to the kitchen, I go. Googie. Are your mama's googly eyes? Hmm? Why do you always want something from me? Why can't you ever go to bed? He has a heart shaped nose. It's heart-shaped, but he won't let me show you. He grunts like a pig. I love it. He's a mama's boy. The side eye. <laughs> oh, my God. Hello, Tammy. How are you? Mr. Tig's driving us crazy per usual. He just grabbed my hand. Stop. Are you kidding? What, am I supposed to hold your paw into the kitchen? Oh, yeah, I had a 
I'm trying to think of when way back in the day, like 30 years ago, I had a cat and <laughs> if I didn't go to bed by 11, he would come out and bite me, bite me on the hand. Listen, I don't get the kismet between humans and animals, but there's definitely something there. I always wonder what a dog thinks. Like when Jax will just get up periodically and go over to a sunspot, curl up, lay down. Like he's laying on the couch and he goes, oh, a sunspot. I think I'll go over there and lay down. Like, what are they thinking? Your cats harass you at 6 p.m. for treats. Yeah, Mr. Tiggs is, he's a, a treat boy. My female looks at me at 12 a.m. and keeps looking at me. <laughs> that creepy shit. They're angels, yes, absolutely. I love when they stare at you until it gets creepy. Jaxie does it all the time. He'll just go. Just for no reason. Your cat stared at the counter for treats. <laughs> Maine Coons are so cool. Holy crap. Oh, your cat, your dog, what? Your dog comes and gets you out of your craft room? <laughs> he's still making sounds while he's sitting on my lap. What? What you want, baby? You have a man, you're a main, <laughs> look at him. A main coon. <laughs> Tiggy, have you been my baby forever? Since you were eight weeks old? Yeah. Yes, you are. He used to sit on my shoulder. Oh my God, I couldn't imagine how funny that would be. Having a touch lamp and your cat keeps turning the lamp on. 13 kittens, my God. You've been mama's baby since you was eight weeks old. You kind of, you giving me a high five? Oh, and kisses. What? <laughs> <laughs> and that's why I call him Googs, because he has googly eyes. Like those ones you buy, the plastic ones. <laughs> the first time when he did that with his eyes, where I see he went like this, and <laughs> when I had, <laughs> he was a puppy, he was a puppy, and I had a treat, and both his eyes went, and I laughed so hard I almost pissed myself. I'm like, you're a keeper, yeah, googly eyed, so we call him Googs, cause Jacks most Chihuahuas. Like, you don't ever see the white. It, it's like their eyes are black. His are so big. You And then the way he moves them, he is a character. Ow. Ow. No, you can't make me get you turkey. <laughs> no. Turkey? <laughs> Take turkey? Turkey? Yeah, Maine Coons are beautiful. <laughs> Kitty cat. He even perked up for that. I always fuck with them. I can say different words and they just crack me up. Jexy likes kitty cats. He's like watching out. What? Kitty cat? Those eyes. Kitty cat. Googs. Googs. Come on now. Say hi to the people. Kitty cat. Chicken. <laughs> Kitty. 
Jack. Jack, Jack, kitty cat? You are kitty cat kind of boy. He always tips his head like he's listening. I know, they are, they're my entertainment. Oh my God. What are you gonna do? I mean, like I keep it in perspective, okay people? I don't take my dogs out, put vests on them and drag them into the grocery store because I can't live without them. I'm not that person. I don't roll them around and push them in strollers. I see those people and I'm like, for real. Learn to disassociate their dogs. Put it in perspective, because I see where people get a little nutty, you know what I'm saying? You're like, okay, all right. No, I am not that dog owner. No, mm -mm. I've seen it. Sometimes I want to entertain myself. I'll put a little shirt or something on Jaxie. But as soon as I bring the clothes out, he's hiding. Yeah, I mean, I'll put sweaters and coats on Jaxie when it's cold out because he'll shiver so bad because he doesn't wait. He has no fat. There was a dude who took his black cat to Walmart with him when I worked there. I see so much in town. And it's like... I don't know, I mean, maybe some people like, they can't leave their house without their pet. I can't leave my house without my AirPods because if I'm going somewhere with a bunch of people around, I don't wanna hear the bullshit. I'll just tune into something and I can spend hours in a store, but I will get overstimulated if it's too many noise. Piped in music, kids screaming in aisle one, Right, husband and wife fighting in aisle two. Um, a woman looking for her husband in aisle four. That's too much for me. It's too many sounds. So I put on my AirPods, put on a good story. I can shop for hours. Nobody's tapping me on the shoulder, trust me, because I always have a resting bitch face. It was so funny because we were out. And this woman, Oh my God, she was just like a miserable, miserable human. They're out there, they're, they're really out there. Anyway, she sassed off. She sassed off to me. And I just ignored her. And then my husband goes, did you hear that woman? I go, yeah. And he goes, you didn't, you didn't say anything to her. And I said, it's Sunday, it's Sunday. I said, if it would have been Monday, <laughs> he goes, ah, I see, <laughs> okay. I wear my AirPods everywhere. Yes, keeping my space. Well, I'm, I can't stand when people scream at their family members, their kids. Like, I don't like any of that. It makes me very uncomfortable. Or a kid just screaming while mom's trying to grocery shop and they're in the cart and they're just screaming. Like it, I don't know. I mean, without my AirPods, it could just make me abandon my cart and leave. And I don't know if it's because the child's being ignored or if it's, I, I think I'm more like, are you ignoring your child? Is your child cold? Is your child sick and doesn't want to be out of the house? I don't know what it is. My toddler is so insensitive. It's hard to go out. Yeah. Oh, that's nice, Storm, the weed, the Norwegian pup and dog. You spoil your dog, long walks in the woods and good food. Good for you. I don't like to hear people talking on the phone, shopping and checking out. A lot of sounds. The beep beep and the tick, 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 tick. There's just too much. And the piped in music and then the people. It's too much. 
Can you imagine certain YouTube creators making a stink at their local Walmart? Listen, they film that shit. Some people create a stink on purpose so they can film it. I hate that shit. For me, it's those people who leave their carts in the middle of the alley. Oh, yeah. I have to leave if I hear kids screaming. I ain't hearing it. Hell no. <laughs> Well, you always wonder, like, if you got to go to the grocery store, I always waited till, I don't know. It was very rare I took my children into the grocery store because it's not going to be a pleasant experience for any of us. You know, I had neighbors. I had family. Like, hey, do you mind if I just run to the grocery store real quick? No, go ahead. You know what I'm saying? I, I return the favor. There's just no room. For, there's no reason. Oh, I hate that. I hate when the mother, the husband, and all four of their teenage kids go to the grocery store together. You're like, really? All six of you are going to surround that cart and stand in the middle of the aisle? That's why I go on a Monday. Kids are in school. It's quiet. I couldn't go today. I couldn't bring myself to do it on a Sunday. Oh, some do let their kids run wild. Yes. Running through stores. Yeah. And then they're screaming in the aisle looking for their kid instead of, forget it. You already got me anxious. I can't. You grocery shop online? If you live in a small town and go to the local grocery, the aisles are full of people talking. Yep. Yep. They all know each other. That's why I go on a Monday morning. I will be going tomorrow morning. Okay, Tiggs. Oh, he's such a big boy. Yes, I'm allergic to my boy. Look at me. Don't care. He did a good boy. I know I love you, too. Yeah, it's where they all meet up, right? That or the post office while you're waiting in line. Five googs. What? I love you. Oh, <gasps> are you sweet? You're not. You are? <gasps> you are? Or you're not? Tell me. Tell me about your love. Tell them about your love. Oh, tell me. <laughs> I love you too. The post office, oh my gosh. Hi, Jersey Shore. How have you been? Oh, my gosh, your dad passed away. I'm sorry. We haven't seen you in forever. I'm so sorry. <gasps> oh, dang it. We need hearts for Jersey Shore's dad. There's your heart, sweetheart. Yeah, that's my dream, to have property, land. And my neighbors are like, yeah. Oh, there they are. Yeah, right? Look at all the hearts. What a great community. Thank you, guys. Hi, Thunder 420. Now, that's a good group of people right here. Beetlebug, hello. You'll always feel the love in here. Love is in the air every time I look around. <laughs> Shayla. He's being a good boy. I should give him a piece of turkey while he's being a good boy and not making noise, right? Isn't that how we do it? We do not reinforce bad behavior, but we reward good behavior. Right? Is that how you do it? They're chihuahuas. Let's pretend like we have a shot in hell. Yeah, okay. Should I go pee while I'm there? All right, I'll do that too. Trust me, I'm not tired, so. The sky's the limit, people. Dying duck fit. Welcome to No Madness Live. Leone. I love these people. Your chihuahua doesn't learn. 
Hi, Grandma Smurf. Do you want a piece of turkey now? Because you've been good? Do you? Huh? Huh? Do you want a piece of turkey? Jaxie, do you want a treat? Do you want a piece of turkey too? And they're gone. All right, let's go, boys. You good boy. Yeah, you too, Jack. Go lay down. Go on. Go lay down. Good boy. Oh. I know. What's going on with Natter? Does anybody know? Has anybody heard? It's You know, here's what I was thinking, because somebody was asking me like I would know, but supposedly in Canada, the public, you know, you're supposed to, the public's always supposed to have the right. Public trials. Right? So Canada is like really big on that. Sometimes here, if it's a high profile case, they will close the cameras down. I mean, you can always go and be a part of the case. But as far as televised or anything, they'll, they're picky here in the United States. It's weird. It's a joke. All of it's a joke. And, you know, I used to have such a strong belief in the system. And now the things I see... And people can be bought, people can be, you know, you know what I'm saying? And and then there's influence, and, and I, I don't even like it anymore. I, like, I don't trust shit anymore. I really don't. All the things I was taught when I was younger have just gone out the window now as far as trust. But, and it's fine. I don't care. Eventually, it... it you know, it's just going to implode anyway. Thank you, Gypsy. Um, but what are you doing, Tiggs? Come over here with Mom. Let Jaxie eat. You don't have to man everything. Honest to God with that one. Yeah, right, Mothball. Absolutely. And, you know... This is what I was thinking. They did not, they like, everybody applied for, a bunch of people applied, you know, went in and filled out a form to be approved for the link, right? And then everybody was denied. Like nobody got in. So I'm thinking, okay, there's no way he has any kind of say or his lawyer because it's a Canadian thing, right? And he's not high profile. So my thought was, he got another continuance. That's my thought. My thought is he got an, either that or they had to postpone it till maybe tomorrow. Something like that. Like they didn't give an explanation, they just denied them all. That's what I'm thinking. He either got another continuance or the courts are backed up and they postponed it. You just came off working doubles all weekend, Shireen. God bless you. Do you work like at the hospital or something? Somewhere like that? Or you work like somewhere 
you know, everybody calls in sick and you're just grabbing. Now they're gonna chase each other. I just can't. Here we go. Jaxie runs like a greyhound. It's the funniest shit you'll ever see. But anyway, you run a store. Oh my gosh. Hopefully it's your own. You're getting to profits. You hear them chasing each other? Sadly, a lot will depend on the credibility. Well, the evidence. Let's just say the evidence. Because his credibility is not that great. Um, her credibility, I don't know about. But it, it, everything has to come down to evidence. The end, right? Apparently, and, and here's my thing. So remember when Foodie filed charges on him? And then she dr dropped him or tried to retract her statement. And the and the charge the the report, uh, the crown still did the investigation. I know they run. It's their last Yahoo before bed, but like, they investigated it and did not find any evidence to charge him, even though she tried to drop it. There must be evidence with May, or they wouldn't keep. They wouldn't even be taking it to trial. Do you see what I'm saying? There must be enough evidence to bring it to trial. That's my opinion. Just going by, because I don't know how Canadian court systems work with the crown and all that, but like here, if a woman drops charges on her husband for DV after he's been arrested, then it doesn't go any further. Like, it's different in some states, but then some other states will just be like, okay, you're grown. But some states will, will take the case on anyway. But, yeah. The Crown feels like they have a case or it doesn't go forward. That's what I thought. He would be uploading if things were fine, though. No, he's on a suspension. He's been going on his daddy, what is it, Natty Daddy channel? And he could lose both channels. People have been reporting him for being on a second channel. You're not allowed to be anywhere on YouTube when you're on suspension. I don't, well, of course... Canada believes in socialism. They have universal health care and universal benefits. It's a, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not, you're not putting them down. And that's why Chantal, like, has a problem with our constitution in our country. But yet she's over in Kuwait bitching that the rich don't give their money to the poor when you're living in an oil-rich country who doesn't give their money to Bedouins like your man. So why don't you take it up with the Kuwait government? I'd love to see how that works out for you. But she always had a problem with the Constitution of the United States. Don't worry about it. You don't live here. See, our forefathers put together a Constitution so that your government doesn't get so powerful. Right? We're, 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 we, all, we all bleed the same. We all breathe the same air. And if you like dictatorships, good for you. I don't. I know pizza's the same way. I don't know why they even care about the USA. They should be so grateful that they live where they live. Well, I know. They're, they're, you can't get a doctor. 12-hour wait times in the ER. Yeah, we don't have that problem here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we choose to live here. We happen to like the fact that uh, we should all be treated equally. Freedom of speech, freedom to Second Amendment, you name it. We're all at the same level. We're not interested in a dictatorship. No, thank you. Can you imagine? It's like living in your parents' house till the day you die. No, thank you. And under some authoritarian ruling. No. No. Mm-mm. I'm good. And yeah, you're going to have problems regardless. 
and it don't matter what country you live in, you're going to have problems. The end. They got a problem over there with kitchen knives. <laughs> so where there's a will, there's a way, right? Bad people want to do bad things, they're going to do it. I just wish the government remembered their public servants. Wouldn't that be nice? But you can only blame it on conditioning slowly, a slow conditioning like fear. You know what they say, if you make people fear, you have complete control. That's why people, you know, with anxiety and irrational fear, right? Yeah, right? It's like a chemical thing going on. Um, or an inner conflict, but it'll keep people at home. It'll stop people from doing stuff. Fear is very powerful. And control, you can control people with fear. And rumors of, you know, you better not do this. That kind of shit. Frightening, isn't it? Yeah, that is the best way. God, I love water. People only fear the unknown, right? Why is Amber Lynn Reed just put up a video and said, I lied to you, it's not clickbait. What was she lying about? God, these two, these two drive me nuts. Did anybody watch Miriam's 100K plaque celebration all alone? Anyone? Let me guess. She did a live stream. She showed off her plaque. Pick me, look at me. Bueller, Bueller, right. Then just, what, probably eight? Mm -hmm. She had to celebrate with food, I'm sure. And just reading the chat. Everybody's going, hell no. I'm sure just Breezen covered it. <laughs> that girl's too much for me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, Amber lied to everyone. Oh boy, what a surprise. I can't, I can't listen to Breezen either. Honest to God. I've listened to Chantal brag and gloat for seven years. It's just another day. <laughs> These two have to be so relevant. Can you imagine? Like, think about it. Your home, your food, your utilities, everything that makes you exist in an, and you're unemployable. Like, you are at... Listen, not the age of unemployability, but the weight, the mentality. So you are so reliant on this platform. You have to think constantly. Okay, what am I going to do? Because my they're looking at their numbers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. That would be so frightening. Absolutely frightening. Desperation just reeks. How frightening is that? I can just click the live button and be like, I'm bored, I'm tired, I'm not tired. You guys wanna hang out? Or I can go a week or a month and just be like, eh, I I'm driving somewhere, I'm going somewhere, I ain't filming shit. You know what I'm saying? I can't remember which channel, but they posted that Chantel deleted the video. The graveyard, yes. It is illegal. She also filmed the oil field. She did. And I'm like, oh, I can put you in prison. What are you doing? And then people are like, you know Salon knows that's the law. 
Is he trying to get her in trouble? But he was there doing it too. It was, Mur I think it was Murad filming them because somebody else held the camera. Hello, Life Angel Moon. I just got home from the casino and I won $94 on a buck 50. You're Irish. Well, there's the luck of the Irish right there. A little leprechaun on your shoulder. She gets away with everything. They both do. But Chantal gets away with everything until she don't. But still, it's amazing to watch, is it not? Wow. She filmed the oil field and the courthouse. That's a no-no, that's illegal. It's all right, she scrubbed everything from her channel. There is nothing before 2022 on Foodie Beauty's channel. Can you imagine having to reinvent yourself so much that you've deleted your whole past? <laughs> You spent seven years as Foodie Beauty and you deleted five years of it. Okay. The internet's forever. What a waste. Why delete it? Anybody that even puts your name in the search engine can watch anything you've done. Yeah, the graveyard eyelash did that because, you know, she got demonetized. And listen, here's going to be the backlash. Here's going to be the backlash of Foodie proving she strikes Everybody. If she would have went to the next page and the next page, you would have seen every day, no madness life, every single day. I've proved it to you. I've shown you. And then I show you where YouTube always approves them because it's commentary. Grow a spine, <laughs> you beach ball. Oh, yeah, Mothball. Plenty have passed away just from TikTok. Seven um, fat, uh, what do they call themselves? Fat enthusiasts, fat something. Uh, it's a community over there. Um, seven of them. Yeah, seven of them have passed away. And the one guy I used to watch all the time. The, the big guy that has the curly hair like Weird Al Yankovic. That guy, I used to watch him all the time on TikTok. He was funny. But now he's dead. He always did look, look a little sweaty. Not gray, but a little sweaty. Yeah, we don't even care. Oh, I love your living room curtains so much. I got some in deep purple and a set of white. Thank you for sharing where you go. Where I got them? Yeah. Amazon. I do love them. They're like a sand color, and it just felt like that was the ocean waves. Oh, he had a heart condition. I don't know. I didn't learn why he passed. But him and six females... Big girls. Thank you. My couch, yeah, I'll tell you this, is some cozy furniture. <laughs> I've had it four years and I keep it clean. I have a um, upholstery attachment on my carpet shampoo. Uh-huh. His father, I think, passed younger too. Genetic, makes sense. I've known a couple people. That um, it was genetic. Genetic heart conditions. So it happens. It happens, you know. Never know. Do you watch how Jamal was eating? They take one piece of food out of the bowl, walk away with it, and then eat it, turn around, go back to the bowl. I'll show you. Watch. They'll take a piece out. Well, 
Molly's actually, there he goes. And they eat it away from the bowl. It's what they do. I just popped into ALR's video. She lied about her surgeon. There's a whole thing going on about that. There's a whole thing going on about that. And the surgeon is getting so much crap from the internet. I only know about it because I this new channel got recommended to me. And there's a woman that reacts to Amber Lynn and her and Zach, Zachary Michael are going at it. And this guy was doing like a, they found the surgeon, yeah. And this guy, that's the one. That That's the name of the woman's channel. Yep, tell you. Well, anyway, so this guy was doing a reaction to the whole thing going on, but I couldn't hear it because there was so much racket going on. I don't even remember what was going on when I was trying to listen to it. I don't know. I don't know what her confession is. Should we go watch? Should we go watch? Because shit popped off. She lied about her surgeon. And this guy. All right. We got to go see. Okay, hold on. I got to get you out of the holster. I don't know, Talia. But I know it's, you're down. Okay. I'm down too. Let's get over here. Okay, we're gonna watch. Let me get you in the holster. Okay, get out of the way, piggy. Okay, hold on. Ah. Get in there. See what's up. The surgeon was on a TV show. So he was famous. Is that what we're saying? That's what the reactor guy was saying. I'm, I'm also going to show you the channel that is covering the drama with that Narc Alert and Zachary Michael and Amber Lynn Reed. His... Channel is right here. It's called The Ankle. The drama. Okay, I'll show you. And then you guys can go watch what this guy was talking about. Hold on. I got to plug you in too. So this is um, The Ankle. I don't know, we're gonna watch, Leon. Okay. But we know that the, that the surgeon was contacted. Okay, so let's go find Amber Lynn. Okay, hold on. Relax, girl. Oh, she got all the schmutz on her face. All the glitter. Oh my God. You guys are making me watch her. Oh my God. I'm gonna cry. Okay, wait. I'm gonna put the volume up, but not like super loud. I thought I was taking a picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys, so I got back from a friend's house, I'm gonna say like 30 minutes ago. I ordered McDonald's. I actually drank tonight, which- Yeah, you look like it. Here we go, clicking the green nails and talking in her her language that's so annoying. <laughs> okay, get to the point. I don't care that you're so cool. You were out drinking in your 30s as a death fat. Don't care. Bitch, haven't drank in like over a month. Okay. So, um, took some shots of tequila. It was a really good night. I genuinely enjoyed myself. Okay, but can you get on to how you lied? I am home now. I didn't vlog like at all today. I actually didn't vlog. Really Don't care. Really anything today. Um, earlier I hung out with my mom. 
did some shopping, went and visited my grandma again. Oh my gosh. Okay, bird mouth. Who is recovering really well from surgery. And after all of that, went to my friend's house. Right. No one cares. So yeah, it was a really good day today and a really good night. I hope that you guys are having a great one as well. And I want to show you guys, you guys remember I did my diamonds. Oh my God, are we 16? Come on. Ugh. I'm tapping past. I can't do it. Um, I should have got them done today. I already have my color picked out. I'm actually super excited. I hope that they have the color. Oh my God. You know why I don't cover her? Oh, great. Turtle nails, just like Chantal. So we have Rarity there, but here are my nails. I actually have that nail polish. It's called Mirror, but it wouldn't look thick and chunky like those nasty looking nails. That one's on Crooked, by the way. Hope you didn't pay much. Got them done. I have a bingo dauber on my hand. Sorry about that. I really wanted like a chrome silver. Isn't that so pretty? Yeah, yeah, moving on. So I was shocked at how they did it actually. Are we gonna get onto the surgeon or do we have to wait till the end? Look at me, 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 look at me. Here we go. But I wanna show you a clip that I recently filmed that you guys saw in a vlog of when I took my hair down and how crazy it looked. What? What do you mean? You, you titled this, I lied to you. Why are we doing all this? Hello, hello for- Oh my God. How does she get this many subscribers and views? I don't get it. Oh my God, and see, here's my hair like this. And do you like it wavy to the side, down the middle? See how long it is, see how pretty it is. Da, 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 da. Oh my God. Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was a good pause. Understand where I'm coming from? Don't care. You know what? If you spent more time on diet and exercise than this bullshit, you'd be a celebrity. My hair sign is also just in my scrub. Okay, you guys people weren't really gonna care because I feel like that's okay. what it's gonna be. I genuinely don't you know, doxing him. It's Hold on, I gotta get to the beginning of this. Okay, here we go. Transformation, and I just feel like it's happening quicker than I thought it was gonna. Okay. okay, you guys, so this whole thing with like my surgeon and the reaction channel doxing him, it's a little bit bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I genuinely thought people weren't really gonna care because I feel like- Have you met the internet? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like that's usually what happens. Like I share something that is like really big to me and a lot of people make it really small. But a lot of you have- Yeah, like your nails and your hair. But when you're talking about a weight loss surgeon, you really thought the internet was, they, they did that to Katie's doctors. They reached out to Katie's doctors. I mean, you really think, and she ain't even on YouTube anymore. <laughs> but I'll tell you, you know, if people hate you, Oh yeah, they're gonna do it. So maybe it's best you don't talk about everything. I've been like, wow, that was wrong. I've also received a lot of people asking me um, a few questions about the situation. So I figured I would answer them for you guys. So the first one being is, why did you lie about your surgeon? Because a lot of people went back and they were like, wait, I thought your surgeon was in a different state. Wait, I thought your surgeon was a female. I'm confused. So yeah, I did lie. I did lie about who my surgeon was. I lied about where they were, and it's because I wanted to steer Narc Alert, I wanted to steer Kicking Geese, which are the two reaction channels who did dox him, but it was first Narc Alert, and then Kicking Geese decided to do that as well, and in several live streams, she would pull up, you know, his seminar, pull up his name, and say that this is Amberlynn Surgeon, like, it wasn't just one live stream where they did this, it was multiple and yeah multiple. but honestly um they could be in trouble for that they could totally be in trouble for that doing live streams and doxing surgeons and 
Oh my, what is wrong with people? Wow. Multiple. I wanted to steer. I mean, she's actually handling this way better than anybody else would. I mean, Amber Lynn is. How horrible. People away from my personal medical information and life because I don't think that's anyone's business, honestly. So I was trying to protect myself. So I stated multiple times that my surgeon was female and that it was in a different state than where I was actually living. I only ever did that because I was scared since I knew that he was Doc. So I wanted to do everything in my power for people to not believe that Dr. Smith was my surgeon because I did not want the surgery ruined for me because at the time, it was everything. Like, I wanted the surgery more than I ever wanted anything. And You someone... should have went forward. You shouldn't have chickened out. You really shouldn't have. You really shouldn't have. You know, doing things that scare you, I get that. I mean, I really do get that. But in the end, you're going to get older and older. And right now, you're at a perfect age to get through this and be able to live an amazing life. But I don't know, man, I, I don't know. I mean, what, what outweighs what? 500 pounds at five foot one, right? Or the, the doctor dropped her, no. Um, no, they actually didn't drop her. Uh, she got all the way, she chickened out. She kind of slammed the, she kind of like, I don't know. She she just did a move in an email, um, cause maybe she almost wanted them to. I don't know. I remember watching it, and it was like she said something to them, like she wasn't she wasn't gonna go through with it because she was blaming it on them or something like that, and it was just because I think she was afraid. I mean, we already know, like. They lie and they manipulate, but I mean, I, I can imagine it'd be, you know, scary, especially if you um, are addicted to food. Well, we don't know, Jamie. We only know by what she says, right? That's the lie, Shelly. What do you mean that's the lie? This is the, oh, oh this is the lie she's going to tell us? Hold on. I went through a lot in that era, like constant tests and it was stressful. It was a lot of money, but at that time, that is what I wanted and what I needed. And I didn't want anyone to ruin that for me because I could tell that that's what was happening. And that goes into the next question of why didn't you tell us about narc alert doxing your surgeon way sooner than this? Like, why didn't you tell us while it was happening? Because if I did that, that would have confirmed who my surgeon was. And I didn't want anyone to know. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this isn't the first time I have had issues with the narc alert and I didn't even say anything about it. Like another really good example of that is like a lot of people think that I go on Reddit and like I get my subreddits taken down. I have never in my life done that. I'm telling you like hand to the universe, hand to everything that I love. I have never done that. I'm not a Reddit girly pop. And I truly don't care if people are on other websites talking about me on forums and things like that. Like, I don't care about exactly. that. Exactly. I, I don't either. I mean, if that's what makes people's lives complete, hey, I react to Chantel. So we, we can't be running around like, oh, nobody can talk about me, though. Oh, trust me. I deal with so much shit on this platform because there's people who want to be uh, creators and then there's people who want to destroy creators. And that's just the way it is. Welcome to uh, social media. About that, like deep down, I don't. But the narc alert actually got one of my subreddits taken down. She ended up bragging about it on her Discord saying like, I'm the one who got it taken down. And she was saying how, oh, everyone thinks it's Amber Lynn, but little do they know it was actually me. And I never said anything about it because I personally don't want to put my energy into this woman. I don't- Good for you. don't like her. Her whole channel is very reflected around the fact that she thinks I'm a narcissist while she is continuously showing narcissistic tendencies, like, and she can't even admit to them. While I'm over here where it's like, yeah, I do have my narcissistic tendencies. I am able to pinpoint them for you if you wanted me to. But for you to like dox my surgeon, 
and like act like it's totally fine take down a whole ass subreddit brag about it and say ha 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 everyone thinks it's amber lynn but little do they know it was actually me well i'm getting constantly constantly harassed oh my god i can't believe you would take down the subreddit like how lame are you like well, like i just i can't with this woman personally so while everyone thought it was me taking down the subreddit it was actually this reaction channel i honestly don't know why she got the subreddit taken down but knowing her is probably because they said something about her. But regardless of the reason, it would have been very nice for her to like maybe make a video and say, y'all, it wasn't Amber Lynn, it was actually me. But of course she's not gonna do that. And of course she's not gonna admit uh, the wrongdoing of doxing a surgeon. Instead, she wants to blame her audience and she wants to blame kicking geese and everyone else around her. She even wants to blame me because I was sharing my journey to get weight loss surgery on YouTube. And I purpose- I couldn't even imagine like, and watching somebody start their journey to weight loss surgery and spending all my time trying to figure out who the surgeon is. Like, why would anyone do that? Like, no wonder why people don't share anything in their life. And then people go, well, you know, yeah, how come you don't share anything in your life? Uh, this is why. My God. I mean, what I went through in Florida... I mean, it's just ridiculous. Purposely was being very, very aware of the fact that like people could figure it out who it is. So I'm gonna make sure to say things that would steer them in a different direction. And I know that is me lying, but I was doing it to protect my medical personal life. For those of you that I have hurt by lying about this, I am very sorry because that is- not How can you hurt anybody? by, I mean, they're called white lies when you're doing it to protect somebody or something. Huh? I mean, you were just saying it was a female, uh, blah, blah, blah. Well, how does that hurt anybody? People are not entitled to know who your surgeon's gonna be, where it's gonna be. It was never my intention to hurt anybody, but I had to choose myself in that situation. Yeah. And the reason why I'm talking about it now is because I finally feel comfortable like I no longer see Dr. Smith. I don't live in Kentucky anymore. It's just at the time, I'm not gonna sit there, talk about it. And that's the confirmation of, yeah, Dr. Smith is my surgeon. I couldn't do that. I wasn't gonna do that. I was very, very upset about it for a very long time. And yeah, I am actually still upset about it because it sucks that that happened. But I finally am feeling like- it, Well, it's a lesson learned. So the next time you do all the work and you're in counseling and you're getting ready for weight loss surgery, don't even, don't say a word about it until, you know, you're, you're in your hospital room and you're waving at everybody or no, hell, just get out of the hospital first and, and just announce you had it done. There is no reason because people will sabotage anything that, that people are trying to do to better themselves. Better? About and it, I don't know why. I really don't know why. People get fixated on somebody, then they want to warp into your life instead of just being entertained or informed. I don't get it. Never will. Never will. Situation where it's like, I'm going to move on. Like it is what it is. It happened. Now I'm ready to move on. But I did want to share the story with you guys because I told you that I would. I do want to thank everyone for the support during this time and for people like who even really dislike me. They're like, I might dislike Amberlynn, but this is not right. Yeah, like, that's not right. And I don't watch Amberlynn because, I don't know, she's too young for me. Oh, hello. Um, but that, I, I'm telling you, every creator on YouTube, it, it it's like, it, they just decide about you. You know what I mean? There is nothing you can do about it. You can't change it. Do not get defensive. Do not um, go into self-doubt. You know who you are or log off. Because people are going to decide they just don't like you. They just don't like you. It could be my voice. It could be it, 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 any. It doesn't matter. My style of comedy or just uh, uh, when I talk and I share things I've experienced and I've learned in life. Oh, she's so sanctimonious. Blah, 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 blah. They, honestly, like when I watched Ben tonight, this, that was the first time I ever seen Ben. You know, Grace's dad. And when I, when I put that on, because I'm like, I want him to explain as a dad why he would even think um, the kicking or even just the motion of kicking his daughter is okay to a dad. 
And when I listened to all the word salad and the bullshit, I was like, yeah, I'm never watching him again. I can't do it. And I'm done. I don't hyper focus on how much I don't like it or how disgusted I am by his explanation of why you treat his daughter like that. Um, you know, just the fucking gaslighting. And I was like, yeah, I'm never watching him again. And I have the ability to just walk away. I don't understand people that hyper focus and then it becomes their quest to take your channel down, destroy you, or go in and affect your doctors, your dentist, your veterinarian. I don't get these people. I never will. I will never understand that mentality. I, I just can't. And, you know, and, and then you get a lessons learned like Amber just got. If she ever goes down this path again, don't make it content. And then Amber probably has to now make her vlogs. She can't go out in public with her camera because she's got somebody who is just feverishly waiting for something. And, and that changes your content. Like, look at all the shit I had to take off my members only. Because you think those people give a fuck? The ones that went in and did the aha moment of taking my members only content and putting it out on public and then turning it into something else? It, no, they don't. And so you go, okay, you know what? That was a moment where I cried for my friend with cancer. My heart was broke. I have another friend with cancer and it just hit me so hard. Like with just, I was, I was just so sad. And then somebody, you know, was like, was it about this? And I'm like, no, F that. This is about Miss Christine, you know, but things were clipped and it was made into something else. And I think that's what was the most disheartening. You know what I'm saying? Was you took a moment, you knew exactly what it was about and you made it something else for your entertainment. That's sick shit. I don't surround my people, self with people like that. So that's kind of, you know, what you have to deal with as a creator. Um, people that just hyper-focus on you for some fucking weird reason. And then people are like, you should address this, you should do that, I'll address it once, and I'm done. And I was. One and done. And that's what Amber Lynn did. She did not address it, then she addressed it, and it's done. I feel bad for Christine too. Well, it tells you everything you need to know about them. The, po trying to poke me by taking vulnerable moments to get me to rage or I don't get that. I will never be that person. I just won't. But, you know, people still try. Poke, 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 poke. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, that puzzle? Yeah. Yeah. I did that puzzle. I almost completely finished it. But I'm not that thrilled about it. The quality for the price. So I'm not going to put it in my store. Even though I downloaded and paid for all the graphic art I wanted for my puzzles. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah. And, in, and it hurt. Uh, my memberships, people left the members. Yay for you. Good job. Good job. Um, my store sales are down 87% because they basically mocked my store. Um, it is what it is. Am I still supposed to rage and rant? <laughs> wow. You still don't know me, eh? Okay. I will never. I will never do that. It's just what other people do, I suppose. And the funny part is I know so many things. But I won't use those. I won't use it. Because I don't dance with the devil. I don't dance with people who hurt others. in financially, like Chantel strikes everybody. Trying to get or re, trying to get everybody demonetized and kicked off YouTube. I don't play with people like that. I feel like in the end they lose somehow. But I hear about a whistleblower. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew about that, Talio, yeah. Yes, Talio, I, I try to... I don't know, I keep a lot of that off my channel because it gets you in trouble, unfortunately. Wouldn't it be a great place, a great space, if you could just talk about everything, but you can't. There's so many things I would love to talk about, but you can't. You can't. Damn it. <laughs> because, truthfully, that's my wheelhouse. I love to question so many things. Yes, Talia. And there's many more where that came from. Yeah, free speech. Yeah, people want me to tit for tat. They even want me to insert myself into other people's drama. I'm always like, what? <laughs> no, I'm good. Seven years. I have stayed true to what I said. I know, but I, yeah, I don't play high school games. I don't play mean girl games. I review Chantal like it or don't, but the things she does on this platform are wrong. They hurt people. They hurt people. Right now she's trying to take channels down, demonetize them. Let me tell you what's gonna come out of that. Nothing good, Chantal, nothing good. It's not worth being negative, giving energy to horrible people. Well, right, I would have to feel like that to engage, would I not? I would have to seriously not like people I don't even know to engage in everything people want me to engage in. And I just don't. I've seen some people talk about all kinds of things and they don't get in trouble. I don't get it why others, I know, it, who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. I mean, we could spend all day going, but that person did that and this person did that. And you know what I'm saying? Let YouTube is fickle. Let them figure it out. Let them figure it out. And I guess if you just um, keep doing what you're doing, you're fine. You know what I mean? If you made it this far, you're fine. I want to know what a future employer would think of her internet history. Who would be hired? Who? Fo foodie? You think foodie is employable? Not even close. No. Amber Lynn's hireable because she's never done, you know, drunk streams, bent over in lingerie and showing, lifting her shirt. And she's never done any of that. Yeah, I mean, they might hire her in Cornwall, the local CVS. <laughs> they wouldn't care. If you get desperate enough for workers, you know what I'm saying? You'd be like, I don't care. I don't care what you've done on the internet. We need help. <laughs> there are some places, I believe. McDonald's, New York Fries. They might take her back. Oh, that's right, she got fired. I'm pretty sure she would never have another job in the medical industry. Yes. And you can all say hallelujah. Foodie wasn't even hireable before YouTube. <laughs> Lock dog. Can you imagine how miserable Foodie would be as a cashier? Do you know how annoyed she would get? Even if they let her sit the whole shift, you know what I mean? Let her eat snacks right at the desk. Yeah, she still would not want to do it. She can't be a greeter because she would just whine. She wouldn't greet people nicely. She'd be like, oh my God. <laughs> She'd be raging. If it wasn't for FFG, I wouldn't be here working as a greeter at Walmart. We could already hear it. She should vlog if she does. I'll bet you her channel would take off. We'd all get food poisoning from her. Right, um... I bet her channel would take off, let's be honest. I would pay to see that shit. 
Like, let's say she did get a job as a greeter at Walmart in Cornwall, right? And then she's like, you know what? I'm going to film while I'm at work. Because, you know, FFG be popping in. You know, kind of flapping at her tag. Her little name tag. How's it going? Kind of like that shit. <laughs> and Foodie be like, you know what? I'll film myself at work. But it's going up behind a $25 a month paywall. I'd be like getting my debit card out. I'm paying for that shit. Her channel would take off. That would be so entertaining. See, I'm all about the entertainment. Can you imagine if they told her to clean a bathroom? Yeah, she would quit, tell you. Mm -hmm. Knowing her, she would pay somebody to do it for her. Like Auntie. Auntie would come in there and do it for her. She'd show up with her bucket and her boots. I got you. I got you, cutie. I can't believe they make cutie clean a bathroom. Here's Auntie. I got you. You just sit down on the bench, sweetheart. Right? <laughs> I love my soap opera. Foodie Beauty's my soap opera. There are haters out there that don't want me to cover her. Oh, well. Oh, well. You'll be fine. You might, you're, listen, you got about a hundred other reaction channels. You're going to have to go in and spill your bullshit. Uh, um, uh, you're just so mean. You're just, you, why you cover her every day? You know what? I'm not mean. I know I'm not mean. So I know you're lying. And there are many that are mean. You can go tell them. But you're fixated on my ass. That shit don't work with me. It doesn't work. So now you get you get three chances and then you get blocked. I'm not even playing anymore. We wouldn't want no ringworm from Foodie's Food. <laughs> it started losing weight. She would take a... Uh, oh, yeah, she won't do that. Are you kidding? She, she only... Do, she's been seven years on a diet, off a diet, on a diet, off a diet, on a diet, off a diet. And nobody cares anymore. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely putting up boundaries. You know, I'm not kissing ass anymore. Especially after the, you know, it's obvious, okay? If the, because I can click on any name and it tells me, it shows me every comment they made on my channel ever. And if I start reading them and it's like, oh, I pissed you off, I'm sorry. That day I pissed you off. But if everyone is, you're this, you're that, you suck, you suck. You, you can't cook. You don't know what you're doing. Oh, give me a break. Then go start a cooking channel. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But it does entertain me for a while. And then I'm like, you're just trying to create like a false sense of yourself by slandering myself. And I don't know you. You don't know me. Uh, you'll be fine. And then I'm just like, nobody wants to hear it. Nobody wants to go in and read that shit anymore. Everybody's done with people like that. And if everybody went in and just stopped it, just stopped it, it'll stop. Because then they don't have a voice anymore. And you can, you can delete and block anybody you want on your fucking channel. And then they try to shame you for that because they want to come in and give you some more sass. Well, I don't mind sass. But don't lie. Don't make shit up. That's when you're done. What was that? Piece of fuzz in my hair. <laughs> you know, that's what I don't like. You're just, now you just look silly. <laughs> I do giggle. And then uh, sometimes I'm like, do I respond? Nah. Then it's like, oh, I'll send him a kissy face. It's Sunday. Behave. It's not cute. It, it's... It's just, I don't want the hateful shit. I mean, that's hateful. I have never called Chantal a name. I'm not defending myself, but you know the facts. You all know the facts. I don't have hate in my heart for anybody. The things she does, it's just not good. The way she does it is mean spirited and it's ugly and she if she's in her feelings she's gonna strike your channel and she's she put me in a one-week timeout for a lie 
She, she, I never, that whole video, cyberbullied her. I have seen people cyberbully her. I have seen the memes people have made. I have heard the words that are like, ouch, I've never done that. So that's somebody who just is trying to paint me in a different picture. And I don't have to put up with that shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to put up with it. And I'm not going to anymore. There's boundaries. So I'm not gunning for a plaque and I'm not gunning for a check mark. So you might want to go find somebody who is. They, trust me, you'll see their desperation. <laughs> and it ain't me. Well, and that's the other weird thing. Who's ever jealous of anyone else? And why? Then go make it happen, right? It is not anyone else's fault that you don't have the tools. I don't have the tools uh, to be a real estate mogul. I probably could if I wanted to, but I don't have that dream. If I had that, you know, I'm, I told you what my dream is. I'm going to retire stress-free and hopefully debt-free. Like, I'm going to buy land, cold cash. I got five years to do this. People want to be jealous of me literally sitting in this freaking house and not doing anything so I can save money for my dream? Then make your own dream. You know, that's why I'm asking everybody to join the budget challenge. They don't have a good heart. Right. And that's priceless. Cringe but true. True. If you don't know after seven years my intentions, then you don't know me. Don't pretend you do. And if you know me from the past, I ain't that person. Are you the same person you were in your 20s, people? Any of you? No, I didn't think so. That's dragging somebody down by the ponytail, right? And now Chantal keeps doing the same behavior. That's the problem. If she would have took the Shahada and glowed up and everything would have been peaches and cream going forward and wow, look at her, look at her go, right? That'd have been different. But she's still raging, ranting, calling people names, lying and making shit up and striking channels. Nothing's changed. And that's my point. Nothing's changed. Thank you, Kathy from Texas. I enjoy being here. I, you're my social life, honest to God, no lie. I don't hang out with people in real life um, because my husband's my best friend. So I don't wanna t take up the time I have with him uh, to put energy in something new out there in the real world. You know, that takes, you know, let's go to lunch together, let's go to dinner together. Hey, we should hang out. That takes all that. And, and I don't wanna do that anymore. I put energy into people that let me down and it took time away from my husband and I'm not doing that anymore. No more. Nope. I learned my lesson. So friendships can be somebody wants something from you or they can be one-sided. Uh, they take, take, take and you give, give, give. I'm done with all that. I have been put way too much effort just to be hurt. And I'm not going to go through that anymore. So yeah, I can, I, I do have walls for real and boundaries. Now I'm going to have boundaries on my channel. My husband is my best friend. I love him. Same here, Pink Cactus. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That's my best friend in the whole world. I don't need a woman to replace that. I mean, holy crap. I never in a million years thought that I could mesh so well with another human being that doesn't have any expectations. And I have none for him. Yeah, that's the best thing in the world when your husband's your friend. Oh my gosh. And we get each other's humor, right? He doesn't put me down. So when people on the internet do it, I'm like, so I've been with this man 20 years in real life. 
We have been through heartache. We've been through great times, bad times, stressful times. And this man has never put me down. And strangers on the internet think they're going to put me down. That's, that's funny shit. I'll tell my husband. I'll read shit off. And he goes, what the fuck? I go, I know, right? He's like, what do you say? I go, nothing. He goes, you're, you're not going to say anything. I go, oh, no, no. No, no, no. You're the only person that that would affect me. That's it. You're the only person that if you said something, it would change everything. And that's the truth. 20 years, day in, day out. And so... Really? <laughs> really? I want to say something right now, but I'm not going <laughs> to. I'm not going to say it. Because I can't. I can't. Because then this person will know that I know. And I can't give them that. That's the beauty. I got to scratch my back. So, yeah, I get, I get it. They're probably like foodie beauty stands. I'm going to put some fear in you so you just stop covering foodie beauty. Eat a Snickers bar. <laughs> you should write a book, Shelly. Oh... I don't really have good life tips, because if I did, I would be sitting a lot prettier than I am. <laughs> you know why I'm not sitting prettier than I am? Because I have a gypsy soul. I am not someone who believes in, and it, it is weird. I mean, there are people out with the gypsy soul, okay? They're living in the moment, the here and now. They're not hoarding money. They're not hoarding anything. They're not sticking in the same house for 50 years just so they can say, I own a house free and clear. I don't give a fuck. Like, I ain't even about that. I ain't even about that. Nobody's going to put a plaque on the wall. Nobody is going to talk about it after you die. They're going to inherit it, but they're not going to talk about it. So why are you doing it? Does it make you feel safe and secure? Well, neighbors can switch out all the time, right? Shit happens. Neighborhoods go to shit. Then your house ain't worth shit. Now you can't go anywhere. Uh, that's how I look at things. I am a gypsy soul. I would rather uh, go somewhere else or know that I can go somewhere else at any time. You're a lonesome fugitive too. I love it. But not everyone can live like that. They think it's scary and uncertain. No, it's not. We all die. You can't take a U-Haul. The, the hearse ain't pulling the U-Haul. Right? The bank ain't going to stuff your pockets. No, everybody else is going to take your shit. And life will go on. So live. When you have the opportunity to live, live. That's the way I look at it. And no, I don't have life tips. Because people will think that the way I live is not worthy of giving tips. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's why there's so many genres on YouTube. There's the campers, the camper vans. There's the RVers. There's the elite RVers. There's the tent people. There's the living in your car people. Yeah, no. I'm more interested in the homesteaders. Like when I retire, I want a homestead. I want animals. I want to I wanna laugh at my goats. I want to count my chicken eggs every day. I want purpose when I retire. One person's dreams, another nightmare. Right, but they'll tell you about yourself. Holy shit. Oh my God, you should have heard what people said to me when I was living in an RV. Oh my God. You're Gen X, you get it? Yeah. So the, what people would say to me, trying to hurt me or like, I don't know, condemn me. 
You're just like, these people really are fucking serious? Wow, could you imagine giving a shit? Just watch for fun or don't, right? Like, when I watch people, like I was watching the guy in that camper truck thing. He built a cabin on the back of his truck and he lives in Alaska. And he was in his little camper watching a movie, making dinner, 60 mile an hour blizzards. And I didn't go in there and go, what's wrong with you? You're stupid. I can't believe you do this. What do I care? I'm watching it because obviously I'm interested. Like I'm either going, there's no way. I was telling Johnny, there's no way. I mean, it's so cold. You watch him, it's pretty cool. The adventures he's willing to go on. He has a snow bike. Shut up. I don't want a snow bike. I I was just like stressed. But I'm not gonna like take take myself out on him and make him feel bad about himself because he thoroughly enjoys what he does. Yeah, I mean, this is what we deal with as creators. And people either like you or they don't. The problem is the ones that don't like you become obsessed, some. And then you're like, why? Just go away. You just need a good jacket. Oh, out there in ma minus, come on now, minus 60. And um, I think it was Fairbanks. It was minus 60. He had to leave his truck running for five days straight. Couldn't even shut it off. But he had this button. He could do a low idle because it was a diesel uh, Ford F-350. And he just pushed the button and it drops the, the idle down. And I was like, oh, that's a thing. I mean, it would have to be a thing, right? I was intrigued, but I still was like anxious about it. The coldest you've been is in New York City. Mon says, my mom does polar plunges all the time in Lake Huron. I did it once in the bay, the Grand Traverse Bay. I did the polar plunge. I don't recommend it. The hypothermia takes your breath away. It is exhilarating though. You have to do something once, but yeah, I only did it once, never did it again. I mean, there's, there's just things that you wanna see, do, go do them. Don't worry about what other people think. It's liberating to tell people, if you like, don't like it, don't watch. It's liberating. That means you're not a puppet. That means people can't control the narrative of your life or write the script of your YouTube channel. That's the truth. Like I said, people are trying to sabotage my channel. I don't know why. Never spoke of them. I have no idea. But like Narc Alert's doing to uh, Amber Lynn. And I think that her and Zachary Michael or that that woman and Zachary Michael are going at it. I never understand people's intentions, but obviously the intention is, is to discredit you and ruin your channel. And if you succeed, well, hats off to you. And like I said, my Etsy store is down low, like sad, first time in four years. Um, and I'm fine with that. I'll close it tomorrow, I don't care. That's why I watch Alone in Alaska. It's something to see her doing everything on her own in a place. I know I've seen that stuff. I've watched documentaries on Alaska. Uh, there's a town in Alaska, if you didn't know, that is, listen, it, you, no new people can ever live there. It is only the generations of a generation. So I think only seven people live there. And when their their generation dies off, it will be unin, uninhabit. Uh, un, how do I say that? Uh, thank you, Bebop. Um, we'll do the uh, face cream a whole different way. If my, shore, if my store gets shut down, if I shut it down, uh, I've got my, fa my people that love me. I have no problem with that. Don't worry about it. It's not happening right now. It's not happening right now. But anyway, so when that generation dies off, that's at the end, right? 
And it's just fascinating. Uninhabit, uninhabit, it will be uninhabited, uninhabitable. Right, Rebecca, hi, sweetheart. Um, yeah, whatever. And nobody else will ever be allowed to live there again. And I was watching that. I think it's called Below, is it called Below Zero? The documentary. I didn't see your comment, Sammy. I'm sorry. Let me get up there. God. Must have been looking in the clouds again. <laughs> uh, nope, that's Stuart's mom. Hi, Stuart's mom. I am still scrolling. So there must have been a word in there that the bot said no, because I scrolled as far as it would let me. So you're going to have to type it a different way. Uh, Might have been a YouTube thing that didn't let it go through. Uh. So, yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing here on YouTube. It's been seven years. It kind of just, you know, feels like home. But I didn't know that I got to start tap dancing or some shit. <laughs> I still make myself laugh. Okay, email me. I don't see anything. Yeah, I didn't either, man. It didn't show up. The story about Whittier, Alaska is amazing. All under one roof. No kidding, Dr. On Call. Huh. <coughs> I love documentaries. That, besides interrogations, I like interrogations better than I do watching a trial. I watch the prosecutor's opening statement and then the defense opening statement, and then it's all white noise. <laughs> Depends on the trial. And then at the end, the closing statement. And I say, you know what? <laughs> That's how I do it. Uh, interrogations, I love interrogations. Um, I also love documentaries. It doesn't matter if they're about religion, um, anything. It doesn't matter. I like documentaries. The Last Alaskans, thank you. It is so good. There's so many things I fill my brain with. <laughs> Not YouTube. I like that deception detective guy on YouTube. Really? I like uh, Crime Circus, Drip Drop. Um, I like uh, Blue Dot Investigations. I like True Crime. I have so many. I like interrogations. Oh my God, I just, it's like doing a Sudoku puzzle. My opinion, opinion is you are here because you help people by taking their minds off the bad things in their lives. You brighten my day and I thank you for that. Thank you, Susie Q. Sometimes I need to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, why do so many women love true crime? Well, I don't really like the true crime stories. Let, let me be 100. I used to watch, back in the day, the ID network, right? Forensic Files, that guy's voice. Good night. I literally listened to it to go to sleep. His voice, mesmerizing. But I, I got away from the stories. Now I like, I want to hear what happened, and then I want to watch the interrogations as they happened. I like the whole mind games uh, and the, the, the back and forth between the sociopath or the psychopath and the interrogators where the, the, the suspect, if he's guilty, he's going to tell the story better and he's going to manipulate you into thinking whatever you know is not true. I like all that. I like them because they're fascinating. I don't like the ones with kids. Oh, they're horrible. I don't, I don't like to watch those either. I, I don't either. It is sick. I can't do it. I like to see how their brains work. Yes, thank you. I mean, come on. You start seeing some similarities to people you may or may not react to on the YouTubes or people you see on the YouTubes that you refuse to react to because it is absolutely not... It's something you even want to poke. Like some evil shit. There are evil people. I came here for the laughs. Mr. Tiggs and his carrot and the screaming goats. Yeah, and that's just part of my life. 
So I do, I do do live streams where we just hang out and the dogs are a part of my life. I will never be like, you know, putting them in cages or something um, to pretend like I'm a professional vlogger. I, listen, YouTube should be just broadcast yourself, real and raw, even if you're a reaction channel. Um, it, it's just the way it should be. Thank you, Susie Q. I came here for the reality check and lighthearted laughs. Right. Yeah. I mean, of course I'm going to be like, well, this is some bullshit. I I'm not going to hold it back. Like for rea reality. And, and, you know, the people that come in and, you know, they have, they, they try to find a subject that will make me break. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't do drugs. I don't overeat. I'm not, I don't drink. You're like, what, what is it? Oh, right. You're my religion. Got it. Question it all you want. I'm sure I'll be questioned at the end of time. Um, so glad you're not on the jury. <laughs> I'm glad you're not one of the apostles, one of the angels. You also have a different opinion than me often, and I find it interesting. Thank you. And I'm trying to be more sensitive because I do, like, have dry humor. And I think everything's funny. But we know there's sensitivity now. So we have to be very careful. So I am. And I got to be very careful on my opinion about things I research. And it draws me to a conclusion personally. Because if you do that, oh, shit. Ah, listen, the labels will never stop being slapped on you. So no, 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 no. That's a no, no, people. You save that for sitting around the round table. Don't put it on the YouTubes. Do not come to conclusions. Mm -mm. Do not do that. You will be labeled so many names. And you'll probably get canceled if enough of them go, yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till that day reverses. Then we'll be back on track, people. But until then, everybody relax. Hi, unicorn. Yeah, we've been on for 132 minutes just solving the world's problems. I don't want to stay in an RV or something. No offense to those that do, but I don't. I get it. You couldn't have put me in an RV. You could not. Ask my husband how many years this man said, I promise. I promise. The day you say you're done, we're done, but please try it. Because my husband's a gypsy soul, right? I said, fine. I'll do it. <clears throat> Did you hear about that couple that got murdered in an RV on a beach in Florida? Actually, no, it wasn't in Florida. It was in South Texas, Padre, uh, South Padre Island. And let me tell you, they were uh, um, two drug addicts. I covered it on my channel. Um, uh, yeah, they drove that truck. They want. They had a beat up truck and camper, and they were eyeballing that couple's uh, rig system, and so. They went and stayed when no, where nobody was around. You know, you can actually pull your RV right onto the beach there. And people advise against it. People advise against it. They say, stay in campgrounds. Do not go out to BLM lands. Because as easy as you found it, researching it on BLM land camping free, so is somebody else waiting to see if somebody's there. So you got to be safe. You can't be stupid. Right, so they parked on the beach. Nobody was on the beach. And those people, they wanted their truck and they wanted their camper. So they were drug addicts. <coughs> they took it. What was his name? Do you guys remember? <coughs> I feel like Adam. And his girlfriend, they were caught driving it over uh, the Mexico border. They were going to take it over there. 
But the beautiful part was they got extradited back to the United States to face the charges. Thank God. Thank you, Mexico. Good job. James and Michelle Butler were the people that were killed. But what was the guy's name? Um, Adam. Mm -hmm. They both look like tweakers, by the way. Adam Williams, thank you. Yep. Disgusting. You got to be careful even when you travel to resorts. You got to be careful when you dra travel to a hotel. It has nothing to do with an RV. Because if you stay in um, resorts, the gates lock at night. And trust me when I say, everybody's got in their campers, are they've got protection. You just got to research. It, it, it can be... Like, my husband and I, we were always done traveling uh, when the sun was coming down. Done for the night. We found the nearest resort, checked in, right, plugged in, and we that's how we traveled. Even, we didn't do what some people do. You can hear, and nothing good happens in the woods in the dark for free. Anywhere you stay for free, in the dark, in the woods, there are enough YouTube channels on here of what has happened to people doing that. You know what I'm saying? So do your research. And if you are traveling to go see family from one end to the other, you gotta map out your whole thing. But taking your rig, putting it on the beach, and you're out there alone, that close to the border of Mexico, is concerning. Yeah. I mean, look what's going on right now in New York with the subways. Oh my God. I would be petrified to get on a subway right now. That's just me. I would be petrified. Thank you, Sammy, for being a member for four months. Thank you. Proud to be with a great bunch of people. Walmart parking lots, yeah, if you're, well, the best to me, if you ask me, better than Walmart, because Walmart makes you park, it depends on the Walmart, right? Because Walmart makes you park way at the back. The best is um, any truck stop. The pilots, they're open 24 hours, full lights, a lot of people pull their RVs in there and sleep next to the semis, seriously. If I was ever on the road like that, I would look for the first Flying J, the first pilot, uh, any of the trucking. They have restaurants inside. Um, some have McDonald's, some have Denny's, and they have full food, showers, everything. I would stay there if I wanted to stay somewhere for free. I would just stay right there in the parking lot. I wouldn't do rest areas. <laughs> no, no, mm-mm, uh-uh, mm-mm, uh-uh. You'll have to research that. I can't talk about it on my channel. Life, life can't park at my local Walmart. Yeah, some are stopping that because people just stay way too long, right? They start bringing out the awnings and their slide outs and putting a picnic table out in the parking lot, changing their oil because people just don't know how to not take advantage and feel entitled to literally turn a Walmart parking lot into a camp I mean, I'm surprised they're not digging a hole and building a fire. I mean, I've seen it. It's hysterical to actually watch. You're just like, this is why people ruin shit. I've seen too many horror stories with rest stop scenes. Yeah, no, 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 no. Nothing good happens at night at a rest stop, in my opinion. Hey, Bella, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you. Love you. I love truck stops. My papa was a cross-country rig driver. All right. There's probably, I should say there's probably certain states I wouldn't do it in. Yeah, I would say that for sure. There's like, you can't just say all rest stops are a no-no. And you can't say all rest stops are great. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You're like, mm, mm Anybody seen that scary movie called Rest Stop? Uh-uh. 
Oh, wow. Watson Trucking in Florida. You'd stay in a truck stop in Florida? Congrats on being a member for 43 months, Maybella. I know I love, I love my members. I love being home. Yeah. Rest stops can be, yeah. That movie's underrated. <laughs> Locked up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I like the travel. I, I do. But I always pick places where we're going to stop and plug in. And they're always like, Highly rated and I mean, yeah, it, it I just want to make it safe. Um, I've been in sketchier hotels than I've been in RV resorts. You've traveled all over the U.S. Awesome. Anyway, yeah, I've been uh, north, south and west, but I haven't gone to I, I it is on my bucket list to go to Maine Maybe once we get the cargo trailer built out, it'd be fun to pull that to the East Coast in the summer. I really want to go to Maine and I want to go to Cape Cod. Like there is places on the East Coast I do want to see. Wow, you lived in Mexico, traveled to Canada. I've been to Canada. It's fine. I've only been to Windsor though. I didn't really feel like I needed to go any further. You always stop at the hospitals. Smart move. That'd be a good place, you know. We could pull in there. In a back parking lot, right? Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of places you can stay for free. That'll let you park. You don't have to go to a resort. But I wouldn't be doing like people do. The BLM land. I just feel like there's too many weirdos now searching BLM, BLM land for people... Like camping alone. Like remember um, the case we covered? Remember at the same time with the Brian Laundry and Gabby Petito? There was the lesbian couple that worked at, the one worked at the little cafe. And it was just the, the one, oh my God, it's just so disturbing. Crystal. Um, they were like in this, kind of free camping thing. And BLM land is like, it's just land that you, there's no bathrooms, you can't hook up, you're just out there camping in the wilderness. Yeah, no, thank you. So I get creeped out in the dark. I don't need that kind of nonsense. There's some videos on YouTube. Remember the girl was sleeping in her camper? And there was, somebody was walking around her camper and she was out there all alone. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Yeah, I don't think it was solved, Shady B. Was it just Crystal that was killed or were they both killed? Those two women. Can't remember. Was it both of them? I like the dark too, but not in the woods. I always hear shit. Almost like Sasquatch breaking limbs coming for me. They both were killed, that's right. Yep, at their campsite. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the woods at night. Mm -mm. A lot of weird... This stuff's been happening in Australia. Yikes, lock dog. What? The people, they can't even defend themselves there, can they? They can't even defend themselves there. That's fine. Y'all walk in the woods all you want. Go on. I'm not even jealous. Nope. Nope. And nope. Uh-uh. You're going to be... Oh, you're currently traveling. Shh. Okay, here you are. Everything's safe. Everything's great. Don't worry about nothing. Yeah, that's what I thought, Lock Dog. Yeah. 
See, that's what happens when you take away people's rights to protect themselves. What a horrible, I would be like, I'm heading to the US, goodbye, goodbye. Heading to the US, goodbye. For real. That's scary. I couldn't even imagine. Yeah, that's what they said, both women. Yeah, Crystal and uh, her wife, and I can't remember her wife's name. Crystal and, oh, I can't remember. Yeah. I thought that they had arrested a man that was in the area and I can't remember. Yeah, that would be lock dog. Chainsaws and booby traps. You allowed to have chainsaws? Just ask him. Tree, machete, tree trimmers. You know, just to trim the, li the limbs down. You allow You allowed to have one of those? You know, are you allowed to have those? <laughs> Whether, you know, there are other ways. Start with the bear spray. I think if we have a farm, we can. Time to buy a farm. Lock dog. Time to buy, time to buy a farm. Throw a couple of animals on there if you want to, but the rest, nothing but booby traps. You're related to the Hatfield and the McCoys. Cool. We're not allowed to have weapons, even bear spray. But the bad guys... Wow, what an advantage they have. At least here, they're, they're like, I don't know if we want to knock on a door in the United States. Or try to enter it. Like, for real. You don't even have that sense of security, do you? I go down to the hotel lobby with a chainsaw and explain that it's just a tree trimmer. Right. <laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, absolutely, Susie Q. Yeah, Alaska. Yeah, absolutely. So does Florida, Texas, pretty much every state here. I mean, it's in our Constitution. We have the right. I mean, they cannot, it cannot be infringed. Listen, if I want to buy myself like a big cannon because I'm attracted to cannons it's right there in the front. If I want to, they don't get to specify either. You couldn't sleep, Tammy? Yeah, I'm still awake. Yeah, exactly. That's good, Angel Ma. Yeah, nobody needs to be worried about that nonsense. Nobody needs to worry about that nonsense. We have to fight the kangaroos off with our fists. Please film it. I'm gonna need the link. Even if you just put one video up on your channel, you'll go viral. There's nothing better than a man fist fighting a kangaroo. You know what I'm saying? There is no, nothing better. You don't want to fuck around and find out here. I'm Gen X. So am I. If it wasn't Sunday, some lady would have got an earful today. My husband was impressed that I kept today holy and didn't cuss her out. I always root for the kangaroo. Capone! Did you see the video where the kangaroo was... Choking the guy, had the guy's dog in a headlock. And then, you know, he let go of the dog, the kangaroo and the guy. The guy punched the kangaroo right in the face and the kangaroo did this. I was dead. I have watched that over a hundred times. May Bella, thank you so much again for the super chat. Kangaroos are scary. They're ass kickers. Two drunks fighting would go viral too. There's plenty of those on the YouTubes. And they keep missing each other. There's plenty of those. 
But fighting a kangaroo, it's, it's gold. Yeah, you want the kangaroo to win. You know, I, I'm interested in, you know, I like kangaroos. I really do. Uh-huh. I know what you meant. That was hilarious. He's all, that kangaroo got my dog in a headlock. He went out there to save his dog. Kangaroo said, then here we are, bud. And the guy goes, <laughs> kangaroo goes, and stared at him with his fists up. His head just went, like, damn, he can, that man can punch. Punched him like, like he was in a bar fight. It was gold. Remember that guy thought it would be fun to make a video by putting female deer scent all over him? This is a deer hunter thing, but they thought it would be funny. And that that male deer wh whooped his ass. And I'm like, that's why you don't do stupid shit like that. Big buck, big buck, like 10 point. That thing was just kicking the shit out of him. <laughs> and he, he, well, it was being filmed. That's some funny shit too. Listen, I, I'm all for it. The kangaroo will tear you up with their claws. I don't know about the claws, but that kangaroo, didn't you see that? You want me to show you? That's some funny shit. Probably, never mind, it's copyrighted. Remember when I showed you the big alligator? It's like five seconds of an alligator, and they demonetized the whole damn live stream. Because obviously, the alligator is a celebrity. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The kangaroo, this kangaroo's probably a celebrity. Never mind. I ain't even showing a picture of it. It's amazing. It's just what you can't show, even commentary. I saw one where a moose ran up after a lady in her yard. Now, I've seen some moose and some elk uh, videos where people, the, the elk has chased them around their vehicle. And they're like, oh, oh, oh. Because they don't play. You got five meter crocodiles? Shut up. Listen, alligators, I've, I've been up and close. Up close to Waldo. Waldo the alligator. He came up out of the water for a hot dog on a stick. You're like, damn, now that. I'm staring at a prehistoric creature that I'd never seen in my total existence because I've always lived in the North. Whoa, just a I have the video, I have the video on my channel. I think it's under members only because it was a Patreon video and I think I moved it to members only. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I even did the slow motion when he came up and opened his mouth and just on the hot dog. But anyway, that was so awesome to see a prehistoric, but I've never seen a croc, right? I've never seen a crocodile, but the gators, I got to see gators, people. Flamingos, things I've never seen before. You haven't lived. So you went somewhere tropical and you see the birds, the things you don't see in the north. Life of an angel mom, thank you so much for the super chat. Just wanted to give you money just because, oh, and carrots for tigs. Okay, tomorrow, let me write it on my notepad. Carrots. This damn dog. guys in your carrot fund for him. You spoiled rotten. Even when you guys give me money for carrots and I have leftover money for tigs that you guys, you know, send, I get him his toothbrushes. You know, the minties that he, every morning I can't even have a cup of coffee because he's staring at me next to the cupboard with his minties. And he's just like, <laughs> You know the drill, lady. Give me the toothbrush. I disappear. You get to make your coffee. I'm not even lying. 
Every day. Every day. I swear I lose every grocery list before I get to the store. I leave her right here. And you know what's funny? Our iPhones actually have a list. You can app. It's built in. You just type it all out. Then you're at the grocery store going, what was it I need? Oh, it's on my phone. Under list. Now, we're still doing this. Right? And then we leave the list at home. <laughs> Would you brush my cat's teeth? I'm sure it will go fine. Right? No. I'm sure it won't go fine. It doesn't go fine with Jaxie. It's a whole thing because he has two teeth. Right here. The canines. And this little bastard fights me. He fights me. Like, after he eats, right? Because he doesn't have any other teeth in his mouth. So, you know, like, the, the, the food he eats, you know, like, it can, like, rest on his teeth. And I, I like to take a, like, a paper towel or something and wipe his teeth, right? It's such a fight. Such a fight. He goes, I go, shut up, you little gummy bastard. You can't bite me. You got no teeth. He still fights me. They're, they're, listen. <laughs> they're, they're my kids for life, okay? They're just, that's what it is. I have to constantly worry about their stupid shit. And Tiggs is constantly demanding things out of me from certain times of the day. And I'm, and, and I can't, I'm not even allowed to be ill. All right? We, we know all about the man cold, but I'm not allowed to be ill. No. No. Tiggs will stand on my chest, if, even if I had pneumonia, and go, rah, rah, when he wants a carrot or something. I, I can't, there's, no. Gotta crawl, you know, like that movie, uh, what, what's the one called? Where the girl comes down the stairs. That one, whatever the name of that is, right? I have to come down the stairs like that. Sick as a dog, just to make him happy. The unicorn <laughs> that sprinkles on the list. Black dog, you are funny. I'm gonna give you that. Your cat runs the show? Yeah. I tell you, it never ends. And you would think, you know, because they're asleep right now under their blankets in their burrows. You'd think I could tiptoe my ass up to bed. They both go, pop. Oh, oh, it's bedtime. Tiggs gets his baby. Jack's, you know, he's just waiting. They see me gathering things, or even just the first sound of a one of the lamps clicking off. They'll pop out. Oh, they don't just stay asleep. No. I can't creep up there. There's no such thing. God. I know. I'm still considering, though, getting the, um, like, a baby gate. But I want the one where you can just, we can take our thumb, open the door, and walk through it. I ain't doing no, listen, I'm getting old. They're, they're, listen, I'm not doing the whole one leg over, because you know what's going to happen. I'm going to fall. Right, evil never rests. The Hoyas, they don't rest. So anyway, yeah, um, I'm still considering doing this. You have those gates for your dogs. Do your dogs like look at you like, like their soul just left their body because you're not gonna let them sleep with you? Do your dogs do that? Or do they just go, good night? Have a good rest in your bed. Allergy free. Not mine. This is going to take strength. This is going to take days. Days. Yes, falling over those gates would be painful. We need the door. Yours just lay and pout? 
Not, they don't stay at the bottom of the stairs and bark. Like, do you hear me now? That's Diggs. <laughs> That's Diggs. I mean, I will be up there like, he needs to stop. <laughs> They'll cry and bark. <laughs> Your cat could care less. Yeah. No, if I'm not home, they just sleep on the couch. They won't even sleep with my husband. He goes, I've even brought Jax up to bed, you know, because he's little and he wants to be under the blankies and warm. He goes, he leaves. He goes back down to the couch. Like, you're not mom. I don't want to be up here. So they sleep on the couch when I'm not here. Now, here's my thought. What if? Now, this is a... Now, keep in mind, we're talking... 13 foot ceilings, right? Because the house is like 200 years old. And then you got a whole nother floor with 13 foot ceilings. So what would be a normal two story is almost like three story, this house. What if I put a ladder? Like I, when I'm tired and I want to go to bed, I'm just like, see you later dogs. And I go out the door but I go to a ladder and I climb up to my window and jump through. No, they'll hear me. They'll hear me. <laughs> Those bastards will hear me. They'll be like, oh, was that her? <laughs> was that her? That didn't sound like Papa. No. <laughs> That sounds perfectly normal. Right. For me to scale the house like Rapunzel, right. And jump through my own window to avoid, avoid two dogs with broken hearts. <laughs> and me giving in. <laughs> oh my God. A pulley system. I put myself in a bucket, right? <laughs> I'm swaying, right? And thunder and lightning. I have to do this. I, that would not shock me. Because, okay, if I'm going to be honest with you, if I didn't have neighbors so close, like, can I tell you, my neighbors two doors down got a puppy. None of us got sleep. Summertime. Sound travels. We're like, oh my God, is this puppy ever going to get used to whatever they're doing? Crate training? We don't know. In their house. So I'm always like, I don't want to like piss off my neighbor. Listen, I may have to slip them a Ben, right? Slip the neighbors a Ben and say, listen, the next week, the next week may not get a fan. Here, here's a Hyundai. Get a fan, whatever noise cancellation shit you need, because I gotta train my dogs to sleep on the couch. And you, and you, and you, and you, because of this. My allergies. See, I may have to do it that way. I think we can work something out. You can always bribe people into submission, right? You can always say, you know what? She did pay us. We're gonna have to put up with it. But you just don't. You just don't, you know, go off on your own and decide uh, you're going to have like a screaming newborn in your home without, you know, knock, knock to the neighbors. Hey, here's what's up. Here's what's up. I'm going to have a baby here for a couple days and make it ugly. If it gets too ugly, we'll go get a room at the Comfort Inn. You know what I mean? <laughs> your dog sleeps under the bed. How nice. How nice. Uh, <laughs> even when Mr. Tiggs may or may not have been bullshitting me with a pulled muscle or a fake pulled muscle or little injury to a paw, I don't know. I went and bought fabric staircase which I never, you know, 
thought about how do you train a dog to walk up a staircase on a bed. But anyway, I thought he was getting old and I needed to start convalescing him. So I bought the staircase. It's like 35 bucks, right? Uh, I couldn't train him to go up and down it. There was that. But because you know what he would do? If I put a blanket on the floor next to my bed and said, you know, I know you can't jump up here. Bless your heart. Lay right here. Here's your baby. Here's your blankie. You're good. No. <laughs> he stood next to my head on the floor and did what he does best. Ah! That over and over and over until I lifted him up and put him on the bed. And then if he got out in the middle of the night while I was sleeping and went down, got a drink of water, whatever, laid on the couch, played, you know, then decided, you know, I'm going to go sleep with my mom again. He come back up in the middle of the night. Yeah, he didn't jump on the bed. He barked me awake so I could put him on the bed. So I have a di different situation here. I really do. I even took him to the vet and had an x-ray. And he was just being melodramatic. Now he just runs around, jumps on everything. And now I got these stairs, these $35 stairs. They may come in handy though, when we get the cargo trailer. He is rude, takes it very rude. So they may, they're gonna come in handy somewhere. You know how I taught him to go up the stairs, I tell you? I opened my bedroom window, which he cannot look out of. He can't reach to look out it. And I put the stairs in front of it. And you know what he did? <laughs> I ran up the stairs. Oh, God, I love my life. Anyway, I guess I'm going to go to bed. It's time. I nearly bought some stairs, but I knew my chihuahua plays games. <laughs> they really do. They really do. I'm going to teach you, how, you know, if you do get them, here's how you get them to run up and down them. Put it in front of a window they've never looked out of. Open the window. As soon as they get a whiff of the outdoors, they're running up the stairs. Chihuahuas are assholes like that. I put it in front of the couch. Tigs all. The oh, fuck? Jumps on the couch without him. I put it in front of the window. He used him. Listen, he was rocky. He even has paws in the air when he got to the top. I'm telling you. He knows I'm talking about him. He's like, bitch. Look at it. There he is. Bet you telling my stories. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go to bed. Thank you for hanging out with me. Sweet dreams. Tomorrow's Monday. We don't have to behave tomorrow, people. So we won't. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.